Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 here in the pristine, untouched wilderness of the Calm Lands. And now we've got chickens with 2,300 and we've got less chickens in there, which means that the food should be okay for the chickens until next month. I see no reason why it wouldn't be. I'm actually going to fast forward time at full speed until the evening just in case we do have to move anything around in order to help them out down there. Let's go back up in here. I'm just going to leave this one hitched in because we're going to want that anyway, but I will put it under cover. Right. How much did they pull out in the way of eggs? Let's have a look. Yeah, I'm, I'm jumping up and down on the eggs now. Of course they don't break. But the chickens there, they produced a fair bit. It's almost six o'clock. That pallet there is... Oh, he's now full. Excellent. So we've got 1,400 euros there. Uh, let's try and do this a little bit more delicately. We are handling eggs here after all. Right, I'll drop that down there. And... Oh, it's just in case we've got a full pallet during the day. 2,400 euros. I'm hoping that we'll be all right overnight. So we want to skip the night now. Like this. I don't know if we're going to be able to get a corn header for the combine. That's going to be the next big thing is... By the time we get round to selling time, are we going to even like be able to afford that? It's 19,000. The planter, I'm not quite so concerned about. It will potentially be difficult to get hold of, but we can still do it. 660 litres of food. It's probably a good job we did sell those chickens. Right. Uh, we've now got six almost seven pallets of eggs which is quite amazing and i will have a look in here so i've got well the chickens have bred uh there's there's one space left for them 283 for the pigs that should actually be a profit it's 2070 to buy nine pigs yeah i'm thinking i don't want 40 pigs Go up, because I think it goes up to 60. Yeah. Right. Nine pigs, 2,070. Um, that one there, 2,159. Okay. We're going to be making a vast profit with these pigs. Huge amounts of money. But, I mean, it is still money coming in. And I'm going to leave it at the moment. We've got plenty of food. We've got plenty of everything else. So we don't really need to worry about that. Egg prices now. 1,200. And that is climbing. And that is going to climb fairly well. Uh, the weather is saying that it's going to come in raining soon. I see. It's going to rain until nearly 4 o'clock. Then it will stop. So what I'm thinking is... If we fast forward until 4 o'clock, June is when the price really hits a high for the eggs, but we'll not worry about it. We'll, we'll sell the eggs today anyway, because, well, we're going to need to. So if I stay here a minute and let's just speed that up a bit. If I go there, I can keep an eye on the food. Do it like that. Right, so I I need to just basically just want to sit here and wait for the either the eggs to fill up, the rain to stop, or the food to run out. Okay, I have actually run out of food. It's also now stopped raining, or it will have stopped raining in just a bit. Um, it's going to stay on three times speed, but the food is on zero, which is not good. So that's on zero there, but productivity is still saying 100, and we got 1968. The, the rain is still saying it's still going, however, it's not technically still going. It, it, it is now stopping. Um, so I ran out of food just as we got to the 4 o'clock point. 
I need to change this one over so that we're doing a uh, loading type. It needs to go square bell euro pallet right there. We'll load up the eight pallets that we've got here. So there's some full pallets and then uh, a little bit extra. I have to be able to buy a planter. So we got, you know, we got seven pallets, uh, seven and a bit pallets. There's 8,400 liters of eggs there. We get this next lot here, these two. There. So we got 10,300 liters of eggs here, which is quite a substantial amount and then if we take a look here we've got 1,300 that we can sell these for 10,000 so we're going to get 13,000 euros that's pretty good excuse me so that does mean that we're going to we can with 13,000 euros we're going to be able to afford to buy some chicken feed we're going to be able to afford to buy the feeder we're gonna that uh, the ce cedar sorry not the feeder the cedar um we need to get that corn planted today or it's just not going to happen and that's about it then uh we've got the we we're just gonna have to put corn and wheat in for the pig uh, corn and barley in for the pigs well actually and the canola we got the canola as well so we won't necessarily be selling that at the mill. Uh, we'll, pros we'll put that through the pigs instead of putting it through the mill. That's what we'll aim to do. What we can do in the future is maybe increase the amount of grain that's being produced and we'll put it somewhere else. I'm not quite sure what we'll do there. The 19,000. We've got this many eggs so far bit later in the year we might actually be all right for producing enough that we can um you know getting enough money so that we can get the corn header this this is going to be the big thing this is the gamble that we're taking right now is whether or not we're going to be able to get that corn header later in the year and this is 100 percent an absolute gamble the only thing that would go in our favour is if we were to get the win the lottery one come up, but that's not necessarily going to happen. I mean, we might get the loan one, be able to have a 5,000 euro loan, which would also be really useful. But we can't count on either of those. We could have things going horribly wrong yet. And I know some of you have said that I shouldn't be doing anything that's too harsh. It's 13,500 euros there. Which gives us, at the moment, 13,500. But tomorrow we'll have the other two grand back. So essentially we'll have 15,000 euros that we can use. That's not too shabby. Now then. I have to get a cedar. I need a seed drill. That's That's got to be the first thing. So we're going to go to cedars. And oh, we're going to go here. We're not, no, not cedars, sorry. Uh, planters. We need a planter. And we're not doing anything fancy, and we are, yeah, see, I was wondering about that one, because it would be different than the one that we've currently got, which is this one. This one is 5.6 meters wide, it's 8,000. Uh, that one is 6 meters, so it's not a lot of difference, except that it's got a higher capacity. Flex planter. Uh, oh. Oh, that's a direct drill. Hmm. Now that's interesting. Direct drill. Uh, nope, nope, nope. I'm going to go with this one. 5.6 meters, only 600 liters, but that's fine. I'm I'm quite happy to go with that. We'll, we'll buy this one. Eight grand for you. That leaves me 7,500. I go in here big bags and i need to buy chicken food we don't need pig food it's the chicken feed that is the expensive bit at the moment for us so that makes 2500 3755 grand and that's going to leave me 500 euros for paying wages so i'm going to actually i'm going to take that down and uh we'll do that bye here we go so i got 1750 for wages should be enough i hope 
Unfortunately, I don't think I've got any way of taking this one and the trailer back in one go. It's a little bit for jolly nuisance, isn't it? Uh, yeah, big tank, big bag pallets, big bags. I'll load them up. Yeah. Right, no, I don't have any way of taking that one back. I can't buy the front links for this tractor, which means I'm going to have to do another trip, come back, get that one, and then take that one back to the farm. i got a lot of driving around to do. I don't really want to be spending all my time driving. You know what? I'm going to drive this back over to the yard, and then... Um, We'll get the will we get the other one back and then I'll come back to it because otherwise I'm just literally going to be driving backwards and forwards all the time for this and you don't really want that. I know originally I said the hardcore was going to be show everything, but yeah, we're kind of not doing that now. Right, let's bring this in here. Actually, before we just bring that all the way in there, let me go and see. There's still productivity a thousand percent. It's because we haven't gone past the hour. If they go past the hour without food there, then there will be trouble, but we haven't yet. So if I bring that in, load those three, and just unhitch that, uh, take the straps off there. And there we go. Right, they've now got 3,000 liters of food, which means we have some happy chickens. They will be very, very happy with that. It won't cause any problems. And they, most importantly, won't keel over and die. We have spent 8,000 euros on a new seed drill. Uh, well, planter, but, you know, same thing. We don't have a lot of money left at the moment, but we will get more money coming in. Especially from eggs, that does seem to be working quite nicely. But next, I need to go back to the dealership and get that seed drill. And once I've got the seed drill, I need to bring it all the way back over here and load it up with seed so that then we can go and start planting this field. And we can pick this one up. I don't have the money to go and buy a thing of seed to dump in here. I wouldn't want to anyway because of the. Um, capacity this was only 600 litres would be left with a bit of the pallet here as I, I don't really want to do that oops that wasn't part of the master plan <laughs> didn't mean to do that not even a little bit we'll just pretend that didn't really happen and we will carry on because if I do pretend that that happened and then have to pay out money for it we're, we're in trouble like you, you can add in these little rules. I bet the traffic around here is too fast. The, the, I blame it on the traffic. It's their own fault. If they didn't speed, these things wouldn't happen to them. Um, it's nothing to do with the fact that I keep driving out onto the road without looking which way I'm going. Nothing to do with that whatsoever. Absolutely. Nope. Nothing. And we'll come down here. And then slide in here. And... Right, so i got to load this. One. The one thing I don't like with this seed drill is that when you load it up, it doesn't actually take the lids off of the, the cylinders on the back. It leaves those on, and I don't think it should. I don't think it should do that at all. I mean, we unfold it like this, and I do deliberately do this because I don't think you would be loading this thing any other way. But you bring that one back this but it doesn't actually take the caps off of the seeds that the, the little seed containers on the back it doesn't doesn't remove those caps and that's something that I think it should do there is other ones that I've used that it does remove the caps and I think that ends it, it looks a lot better when you're using it you, you see them popping off it, it does actually look a lot better a lot more realistic type of approach um, you know, I'm going to have to do this planting. This is going to take us a little while to complete. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to actually look and check the traffic. Is that 2C, 2CV again? What? Why are you stopping there? That 2CV is really annoying. I don't like it. 
I've got a mod. I've got a mod on. Oh, oops. Well, that went well, didn't it? On um, the time lapse series where the gates open automatically when you go near them. I actually quite like it. I was wondering about getting it for this map as well. Because then these gates here would open automatically. And if you can have them opening auto magic without having to jump out of your tractor, it does make life a lot easier. Uh, right. I do quite like the texture that is left behind on the ground with the planter. I think it looks quite cool. It disappears as soon as you try and do the roll. Well, it, naturally it would because the roller is a whole different texture. This is going to take a bit, isn't it? Why are you struggling so much? Probably because of the repair rate on the tractor. We don't have the money to repair the tractor either, which is not going to help anything. I don't know what that's going to cost us. But with the tractor being... with You see the repair rate on there at the moment. Because that is so low right now, it means that the tractor is essentially operating with less power. And there's nothing that we can do about that apart from go and repair the tractor, which would require a boatload of money, which we don't have. Uh, there's maybe... A how much that can be? Well, I suppose maybe because it it depends on how much a tractor is. Now I think this tractor is what? It's about twenty thousand. So in theory, the repair cost shouldn't be more than I think it's like a is it a third of the value of the machine? It might be less than that. Can't remember what the maximum repair rate is, but there there is actually a maximum. How slow this is going. I mean, it doesn't help that we've got, like, the, the weight, the front, um, well, the front weight situation, and I'm also not using weighted tyres either, which I think it should be. This kind of needs it. it. Needs the weighted tyres, it needs everything else as well. Um, oh, this, this, this is, <laughs> this is painfully slow. Oh, this is terrible. Are you going to be right going downhill, maybe? If we, if we go downhill with a stiff breeze behind you, do you think you'd cope with that? The gearing on the tractor is a bit messed up as well. But that's, main, that's partly my fault because I insist on just using the automatic gear change instead of letting... Um, if you use the manual, you can have it revving a bit higher and it does actually work better, I've been told. A few, few of you have said that. Um, but I'm just too lazy to go and do that. I don't want to. I just want to do it like this. It's easier. Right. Now we're talking. Over there. Right. Oh, I know why. So I've got the tractor selected. I'm trying to lift it, but because I got the tractor selected, it's lifting the, trying to lift the tractor with the seed drill rather than the seed drill with the tractor. We don't really want it to do that. And now we can go down the hill. And as predicted, downhill with a stiff breeze behind it, it seems to do all right. Who'd have thunk it? So maybe it would be easier if I was to do this next time around as well. No, I won't do that. We'll do another time round, and then we can set the hired help going. And I'm going to need to find something else to do while the hired help plants this field. I think it will be able to plant the field okay. I've, I've got reasonable enough faith in it being able to do that. It's just potentially... It might take a little while. I, I, I really don't know how long it's going to take. Here. And off we go again. And yeah, this this is the difficult bit. This this is the tricky part. It is revving. It is at least revving, but because I've got zero weight on the front, it just can't pull itself up the hill. This is our problem. I need to put those weights in. I don't have the money for them. 
If I had the money, I'd buy them. I'm really going to need it. I don't want to go and use the other tractor. I prefer this tractor. Um, this is a better one for doing the road work. But this ain't this 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 is a this is a sad situation. This is on. Go go go! Right now it's doing something. A little bit, kind of. Have we put fertilizer on this side? Did I? You know what? I've got a horrible feeling that I've made a mistake here. I have. We've got one layer of fertilizer, but I didn't go and do an oilseed radish planting, which I should have done last month. Uh, I could have started that in March and got in that one planted, and I completely forgot about that, which means that we've only got one layer of fertilizer in here, um, which is really not going to help our situation whatsoever with having enough food for the pigs. It did actually take a ridiculous amount of time to get up that hill. Like, silly ridiculous amount of time. But what I'm hoping is that we'll be able to just drive backwards and forwards on the top without slowing down too much. Apparently it's too much to hope for. But I think that's also partly the repair state on the tractor. Um... Because we all know that the, currently this tractor is, is, is not doing very well. But what I will do... The one thing that I don't like about this game is you can't do a partial repair. Right? It's all or nothing. You've either got to throw all of your money in and do the repair, or you don't get to repair at all. Um, so if it says that it's 25,000 and you've got 20,000, you cannot repair your tractor. You can't repair part of the tractor and get bits of it going so you can sort of do a, a, a patch job to repair some of the machine to keep it going long enough to complete the task in hand and don't tell me that that can't happen because we all know that that happens on just about every single piece of machinery in existence I mean yes it's probably better if you can go and fix the whole thing all at once but that doesn't necessarily mean that that is what happens. Now, I'm just going to leave this one down because I'm going to go and top it up. And then we're going to run back again. I'm also just curious how much the fix will cost. Let's go and have a look here. But also how much you know, a slice weight on the front would cost, the, the cheap slice weight. Right, you. Uh, repair, 2,694. See, we can't afford that. Not at the moment, because we don't have that kind of money. Configuration, 3.5 grand. Okay, I don't want that. Uh, front, odor, front weight. One kilo, uh, one ton. It's all of our money. All right, I've had a look at the options here for the slice weight that we want to get on the front here. And if we go to customize, and we want the front weight. Uh, 360 kilos I don't think is enough. 560 is going to cost us 1,000 euros, which is only going to leave us 753 for wages till the end of the month. Um, we can't, So we can't go any higher. Ideally, I'd actually like to get the, the full front weight. Um, but that's going to leave us with no money for wages, and we can't do that because we lent some money out. So we'll take that one for a thousand. There we go. And that should balance out the sea drill rather nicely. So let's. Why aren't you picking it? Uh, oh, oh, it's because I put the front weight on. Right, we'll put that one on there, and we'll reverse over here, load it up with seed, and then we can run back down to the field, set the hired help working down there, and then... Well, we just got to wait for the field to finish. We haven't got anything that we can do weeding with, so that's not really going to be an option for us. There we go, 600 litres. And I can leave it unfolded. 
we'll run this one down this way. It's a little bit laggy and jumpy in places because one of the best ways to counter the whole flickery madudi duda issue that we have in the autumn and the winter is to delete the cache files every so often. So I'm sort of doing that every week, but it means then it's got to regenerate the files uh, when you go and start playing again and you, you get a little bit juddery just to start with. Not a lot we can do about that. Uh, 1.8, the, the update 1.8 has actually been released. I haven't installed it yet because there are a few issues with it. So I'm avoiding it at the moment. I'm going to just allow other people to run through issues and also allow some time for a few of the mods to get updated as well which I feel might be prudent because then it's not going to interfere with any recording that we want to do here. And let's do, I'll do one more lot here like this and then I'm hoping the hired help will be able to take over and do a much better job than I can do. And, oh, I'm just about out of fuel. Um, are we going to have enough to finish this field? I wonder if I should run back up. I tell you what, we'll we'll do part of the field and we'll, we'll sort of keep an eye on it and uh, we'll, we'll see what the fuel situation turns into after that. Uh, for now, I'm going to leave it and we'll just kind of, we'll keep a close eye. I'm, I'm, I don't want to go rushing back just yet. I'd like to at least get going with the seed drilling, uh, just, just uh, the, the planting, just, just for a little bit. And it's going to be alright. There's another thing I wanted to look at as well, and that was getting a water thingy here. Like a, a water pump or something like that, so that we don't have to drive all the way across the map to go and get more water in the future. Someone was saying, I think it was actually Smock Farmer, was saying that we. Like, if we're going to be looking at greenhouses. Like, we could do the open-air garden. We thought that that one's actually a pretty good one. Um, and it might fit the style of the map that we're doing. I didn't want to go too much into greenhouses in this series. But, same time, if we were to do, like, an open-air garden... In, I mean, this area here would actually work rather nicely for it. So, like, we could put one of these down. And the goods can be delivered on this inside piece in here. And I could put two of them side-by-side side in here. They would fit. Um, it says 2,700. You should fit. Why aren't you fitting? It says not enough money. If it clips to not enough money, it will just stay as not enough money regardless of what you try and do afterwards. So... Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.